Hello, yes, welcome back to that one art college vlog where the world ends. Well, technically, I guess it already ended. So, here we go. For some reason, these were double wrapped, I guess. Editing Kaylee here. Yes, I know this started off very sarcastically. I can't really go back and change it now, but I was in a very bad mood because I did not know how the heck I was supposed to get through this virus while doing art as a major. So yeah, this is very sarcastic, very frustrating at first, but it gets better after this clip, I swear. No, just this one was wrong. Odd. I have no clue absolutely like what's going on in my classes, like at all. Like when I tell you, I don't know what's going on. I've been to one class since Louisiana decided to just implode on itself. And I've had two a day for two weeks. So yeah, I have no clue what's going on. But I do know I have to do a painting and it doesn't have to be on canvas, but I have a lot of extra canvases and I don't have bristle paper. Okay, so let me give you the rundown of what the heck is going on. Basically, I had to do this. This is my color scheme for a 16 by 20. And I kind of chose the color scheme, kind of not. Basically, I chose a secondary color and then had to choose one of the same like spectral intensity, this one that was like the red and yellow make orange. So basically, I have to make a painting with these colors and I don't know if I have to use all the colors. I don't know if there's a prompt. I don't know anything about this project, but uh, so um, we're gonna see how this goes because obviously I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna try a new style. They have like these types of paintings. They're very stylized and I love the color, kind of like retro-esque colors. I feel like with the color scheme I have, I can totally fit something like that with this. So that's kind of the goal for today. And we're gonna see how this goes because honestly, I don't have much hope right now. Hello, yes, voiceover Kaylee here. Um, I This is me basically trying to get the sketch done. I really wanted to incorporate a tree, but I just hated the way that tree looked. So we turned it into a mountain. And so right now I'm doing the layers of the sky. So there's like three layer colors of the sky and then the sun's gonna be like different. But basically it goes dark to light to lighter. And I don't know why I just thought the colors looked really similar. I think they blended more when like in person. So I made that middle shade a little bit darker. And so yeah, that's me doing that. And then for some reason, I just forgot to record everything, but here's me painting the sun. So the top is yellow, middle's orange, bottom's red to kind of go with that color scheme that I was trying to complete. I'm actually in the kitchen doing this. So that's why the scenery is a little bit different, but yeah. And then I cut it off because I just, I'm not smart. So I started going over the colors again because one layer just did not do it. And as you can see, all the orange, that was actually Raya's doing. She uh, she managed to get and climb on a chair and paint my canvas for me. So um, that's all the orange that's at the bottom. But here's me trying to fix it. So I started off with this dark gray, but I ended up changing the color later. I thought it was too dark. I made it more like of a light bluey, dark-ish color, if that makes sense. Because I kind of just hated the way it turned out. And here's me doing the top line of the cloud. I did like three layers to this big cloud and I wanted it all to kind of like go together but kind of be separated at the same time. So I made sure to make the lines very like noticeable because I wanted it to be like almost a block printing type of thing. And then here's me skipping even more of what I did because I just forget to record all the time. But I did the mountains, and then most of this actually ends up changing, I think. But the mountains stay the same. I had to redo the right mountain, like, five times, because for some reason, I just could not get the shading in well, at, like, I wanted it to. So, yeah. But here's me doing the water, which I think was honestly the difficult part, because it has to be very, like, it has to show movement. But at the same time, I don't want to blend it like you're supposed to. I want it to be very block printing-esque. So, yeah. It ends up... I ended up just covering it with a full layer of blue. And then kind of adding highlights and dark areas in it. So that 
if I miss a spot or if it was patchy, at least it had the bottom part so I wouldn't have to redo the whole thing over again. And it made it a lot less overwhelming to just see a big blank white space staring at me. So adding the blue layer at the bottom really, really helped. Yeah, that's basically it. And then here is the finished piece. I changed up a little bit, but I outlined everything and I love, 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 love the finished piece. I am so happy with it. Um, okay, so let me give you the rundown of basically what's going on. So yesterday I did critique for that painting and it went really, really well. It doesn't have a title because I haven't come up for, with a title for any of my things ever. I just kind of make it up whenever I go to post it. Like I don't know the title of any of these. So the critique went really well. I'm really, really happy with it. I love it. I, I don't want to part with it. I love it um and so tomorrow i have a critique for 3d design and i have to make a hat out of paper and i haven't even started so today i need to come up with four sketches i need to actually make the sculpture all that so i'm kind of in for today so i got up semi early i got up at nine and I am going to just work on this and hope that I can pull this off because I barely pulled that off and I started early. So, wish me luck. Um, okay, it's now one o'clock, which means I have, if I don't sleep, it means I have, um, seventeen hours to do this. And we'll see if I can pull this off because I'm not feeling very confident right now. Um, I haven't even sketched anything out. I went to go get supplies and then I went to get coffee. And then I kind of just procrastinated. And I realized I don't have any masking tape and I kind of need masking tape. So starting off with a headband. And that's all I know so far is that I'm going to have the base of a headband. So... We shall see how this goes. Okay, so here's the setup. We have Pinterest on one side, sketchbook here, because I haven't come up with any ideas. And then I am currently watching that one artist. I don't know if you've watched her, her name's Darcy. I love her art college vlogs and they're just so nice. So um, if you haven't watched her videos, I will highly suggest you go in and check her out. So do that. And her art's really awesome, so. Editing me again, I realized I was kind of all over the place with this video, so let me give you a quick, 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 quick rundown. Um, the due date got extended to Monday instead of being due Wednesday, so that's why I said it's due, and then I had extra days to work on it. So the videos aren't out of order, I just... that's what happened. So, due date got extended. We had critique Monday, but it didn't have to be due till Wednesday. Like it didn't, like the final thing didn't have to be due till Wednesday. Okay, so let me give a quick update of what's going on. It's the next day, so today's Friday. Yesterday, I got a whole bunch of nothing that I'm supposed to do done. <laughs> I worked on a video that I wanna do of painting cups. So I got one of four cups done. And then that took, one of the cups took like three hours. And then right now, I have this much of the crown done. It has to be like a whole like sculpture though. So I have basically nothing done. Um, I got one of two art history assignments done. So basically the goal today is to get the last art history assignment done, get most of my crown done, hopefully, and then maybe get like a drawing done. But that's a lot of work because the crown's going to be a lot. So we're going to see how that all plays out. But right now I'm going to do the art history assignment just in my bed with Rayo. And then I'm going to work on the crown. So that's what today encompasses. Hopefully. Okay, so my room is a mess from the paper project right now. Um, it's not done. It's doing like... So we had critique today, but it didn't necessarily have to be finished. But it's due Wednesday, so this is what I have so far. So, basically, with the whole virus going around, I wanted to touch on, like, 
nature versus the human aspect since like in Venice the water's clearing up the swans are back so I kind of wanted to touch on that with this project and it's not completely done yet there's a lot more that I want to add but this is what I have so far and I really do like it but yeah so that's kind of what I'm doing now so here's the piece on my head it's not even close to done I have to do like probably 20 more flowers because I'm gonna fill all this out I might add like a building My daughter just came in the room so yeah this is it so far um you can tell how big the workload is today based on what i'm wearing a sweater sweatshirt and uh joggers so um that's how you know the workload is huge so i have to do this and then i have a photoshop project i'm gonna do and then it's spring break and then i'm done so basically this college vlog was more like two weeks than one, but I didn't want to do like the tail end of projects for one week. So yeah, let me explain what's going on. So we have all these flowers and then we have these, a building, a bridge, another building, and then a paper bird and then a paper airplane. So basically I'm touching on the concept of like how in Venice because of the virus, not many people are on the water and everything. So the water's been clear and the swans are coming back. So I'm going on the human versus nature aspect type of things. I haven't really recorded any process of it because my workspace, my workspace is a hot mess. So that's why I haven't done any time lapses with this because it's just getting cramped where I'm at right now. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of this vlog. The only thing I have left before spring break is like, two classes but i don't record my classes i have critique on these images i'm gonna just say them while i'm talking but i have critique on those images i edited them edited them on photoshop and i've never used photoshop before this is like literally my first time ever so um you know if it's bad it's because it's my first time but i kind of like them it's kind of like odd it's off i like it it's a little bit different than what i'm used to but i'm happy with it and then here's my sculpture so basically let me run down what's going on it took like probably 12 to 18 hours to do everything these flowers took really long especially because i was using e600 at first because i didn't want the glue strings and that just took forever to dry and i'd have to hold it for so so long yesterday i finished it and i worked like seven hours straight on it so i'm really happy so we have these all these flowers and then we have like a bird um origami thing here all the flowers were folded cut the birds were origami and so were like the butterflies and stuff the only difference is like i glued them on and glued them to make sure they wouldn't move too much so like there's a big butterfly kind of hiding in here it's sideways there's this one and everything hanging is off of fishing wire so we have like the paper airplane, a house, a bird, another paper airplane, butterfly. There's a boat up in here. And then another house with a paper airplane coming off of it. I think I like the roof of this house better. But then another butterfly. And then another bird. And we have these spiral things that I like. So basically, it's supposed it was supposed to be a hat. I kind of did mine more crown-esque. Jeez, I look like an elf the way my hair is going up like this. Okay, so this is how it is. Do a full spin for you. There you go. And then, so yeah, it just fits on my head. I made the back, like, slope down. So let me get this off real quick. So basically, I put a headband in there to help shape it when I was putting the paper around. And then on the top, we have a house. This is the house that was on the side. And then a bridge, and there's there's the bridge here, and then I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a boat underneath the bridge, and I use hot glue to, like, kind of mimic water. And then we have this building, but it was more just going with the aspect of nature and human aspect together, slash separated, because they can't really be together. One of them's going to end up destroying the other. So yeah, they're separate, but together, kind of, so, you know, it kind of just goes on that aspect, but... I'm really happy with it. Like, really, really happy with it. So, yeah, it's like 12.3 inches up 
think it's like 15 back and then like 12 sideways so yeah so yeah so that's it for this college vlog i'm gonna end it off by wearing my hat um gosh i look like an idiot but i love it so basically that's all i have for this college vlog um it started off sarcastic it started off really sarcastic i was kind of struggling with um everything like the whole virus was kind of driving me insane because i didn't know how i was going to get anything done during quarantine at home but it ended up actually helping me like i used to skip school a lot because i work better at home so i don't know why i was freaking out in the beginning because i know i work better at home and i all of my pieces that i work on at home come out way better than the ones i work out on at school so you know it worked out for the better and i am happy i'm really happy with how this came out i really love how my painting came out and i actually do like the photoshop stuff so i don't know if it's just because i'm being less hard on myself or because of quarantine like i know it's not going to come out asap like asap uh, no not asap <laughs> i know it's not going to come out like the best the best or if it's just because literally i just do better at home <laughs> so yeah i've had a really good positive mental state today and then with my art, I've been really good positive mental state in general. It's slipping. But I scheduled my classes today. I'm taking two summer classes and then like eight <laughs> fall classes. But that's because one of them is only an hour credit. And then the other one is literally no credit. So, yeah. Have a really freaking good day and stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.